In today's video we're going to be looking at benzene. Our learning objectives for today are to compare the Kekulé and delocalised models for benzene in terms of p-orbital overlap, review evidence for a delocalised model of benzene and describe electrophilic substitution reactions of airings. Okay, so when benzene was first discovered, an analysis showed that it had an empirical formula of CH and a formula mass of 78. Um, I want you to pause the video now and use this information to calculate the molecular formula of benzene and suggest a few possible structures. The molecular formula suggests that there would be many, many double bonds in the structure, and so one of the proposed um, structures was this. However, further research showed that benzene is quite unreactive, which showed that this structure cannot be true. So a German chemist called Kekulé suggested that the structure of benzene was a ring of six carbon atoms with alternating double and single bonds like this. However, this does still not um, explain why benzene does not react with bromine water and other things like alkane should. In light of this, Kekulé revised his structure to suggest that benzene was in rapid equilibrium with positions of double bonds switched around, um, as can be shown here. In this case, the bromine molecule would not be polarised by the double bond before the structure changed. Recently, chemists have been able to look at molecules using x-rays. It was found that C double bond C was shorter than C single bond C, which suggests that benzene was not symmetrical. However, um, looking at benzene, you can see that it is a symmetrical molecule, which shows that all the bonds in uh, benzene are the same length. Um, Another bit of evidence would be to look at enthalpies of hydrogenation of unsaturated alkanes. If you look at the enthalpy of hydrogenation of cyclohexene, it's minus 120 kilojoules per mole, um, which would suggest that Kekulé's structure would have an enthalpy of hydrogenation three times this value, 360 kilojoules per mole. However, when you do the experiment, you can see that benzene um, has an enthalpy of hydrogenation um, much lower than predicted, which is more evidence against um, calculate structure. So, to recap then, um, Kekulé's model does not fully explain the chemical and physical properties of benzene. Specifically, the benzene does not decolorize bromine water, the bond length in ben benzene are all equal, and benzene is more stable than Kekulé's structure suggests. So, we come to the delocalized model of benzene. Now it's thought there is delocalized pi bond over the benzene ring. Each of the carbon uses three of its valence electrons to make sigma bonds. So this leaves one electron in a p orbital on each carbon. As can be seen here. The p orbitals then overlap to create a system of pi bonds which spread over the all six carbon atoms, as has been shown in this diagram here. The pi system is delocalized, and so it's more stable than three localized double bonds. The increased stability of benzene means it doesn't react with bromine water, acids such as HCl, or halogens. In fact, any addition reaction would result in breaking the delocalized system. This means that benzene usually undergoes substitution reactions. So, electrophilic substitution of benzene. It will, um, Benzene, in general, will react with an electrophile, such as this. Um, it will accept a pair of electrons, um, forming a substituted um, intermediate. And then, in order to get the stability back of the pi system, the electrons from a, car a CH bond will go back and will break. leaving you with a substitute of benzene and an H+. So benzene will react with a mixture of nitric acid and sulfuric acid. Um, the first step, we need to create our electrophile. So we mix some sulfuric acid with nitric acid. Um, they react together to create our electrophile. As can be shown in this reaction here, our electrophile is NO2+. Right, so our NO2+, is our electrophile, so that now is fed into the system with our benzene ring. The pi electrons from the benzene ring form a bond with the N of the NO. It breaks our delocalized system, gets, ends up with a positive charge in the benzene ring. Now we want to reform our pi system. So the electrons from the CH bond um, go back into the pi system, leaving us with a substituted um, benzene ring. 
our H plus then reacts with the HSO4 minus that we had from the first step, giving us H2SO4, showing that sulfuric acid is in fact a catalyst in this reaction. Right, so your task then is to use your textbook to try and figure out if you can draw the mechanism for the chlorination of benzene and the bromination of benzene. Like I said, use your textbook, we haven't fully covered the exact mechanism in the in the video, and I want to be able to see that next time. Okay, to recap, benzene actually has a delocalised pi system across the whole molecule, and benzene undergoes electrophilic substitution reactions rather than electrophilic addition reactions. Right, so that's been our video on benzene. I hope you enjoyed it.